my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we'll be looking at privacy and security settings and how you can access these for your Google accounts. So let's dive into it. Now, the first thing you'll wanna do is open up your browser. Now, inside your browser, you'll be looking for the nine dots in the top right corner. This is the app launcher and where you can choose different applications linked to your Google account. Now, the one we are looking for is titled Account. So go ahead and click on that and this brings you to the new My Account space. Now, here we can do a number of different things. We can change our settings, we can change our contact information, but we can also check our privacy and security settings. Now, the first thing I'd like you to do is just scroll down and go and find privacy checkup. Now the privacy checkup will allow you to see exactly which applications, devices and services Google is accessing. It also shows you all the information Google has on you and you can turn these on, off or even change their settings. So let's go ahead and click on this. Within this you can now select the first option and this is your web and app activity. Now let's go ahead and click on the settings for this. Here you can now see all your online activity and on the left hand side you can even choose how this is kept or deleted. You can go ahead and delete this right away or you can just review all the different settings. In the middle you'll see that there is a button that allows you to automatically delete this. Once you're happy with all the settings you can return to the main overview. The second section is all about the devices you're using. So this is device information that Google has on all the different devices used to log into this account. Now do be aware if you have multiple accounts this is only linked to the account that you are currently using. So you'll have to do this checkup for all your different accounts. Now the device information also stores your calendars, contacts, apps, etc. So if you are not comfortable sharing this with Google, then this is where you can turn this off. Now having this turned on can also be a huge lifesaver. Let's say that you lose your device and you want to restore your account onto another device while your apps and contacts will be automatically synced. So this is a personal Personal choice. Once you finish with this, you can close this tab too, and then we are into the third section. Now, the third section of personalizing your Google experience is the voice and audio activity. Now, this is where you can set what Google does with all the verbal commands. I'm including commands given to Google Maps or other services and even the assistant and OK Google commands. These are all stored and this is where you can set it up so that it reflects your privacy preferences. On to the next one and these next two have to do with YouTube. Now the first one is your search log. The second one, your watch and view log. Now the search log, this is where you can set it up so that YouTube recommends different videos and content according to what you've been searching for. The second part, this is where it looks at your watch history, which videos you've watched and also your playlists. Now, these are just the default settings. You can still manually override these settings whenever you're uploading a video. So go ahead and dive into these two menus and set up your YouTube settings to reflect the type of recommendations you would like to get from YouTube. And that's the end of the first section. Now the second section in the privacy checkup lets us look at ads. Now Google is a massive ad-based company and it uses ads to make most of its revenue. Now it uses a lot of our data in order to give us the best ads available and this is where you can choose which type of ads you do not or do want to see. Now you will click into these settings and the first thing you'll see is that there is an overview of categories linked to this account. You can remove these categories categories or you can tweak the settings. If you are in a G Suite for Education account then this is not accessible because educational accounts do not store information and don't serve ads to your students. Back to the main overview and the third option is your public profile. What is viewable to the outside world? Now this is a simple header, image and a little bit of extra information. You can tweak this or you can leave it as it is. On to the fourth section and this is the Google Photos section. What does Google Photos know about you and your photos and how does it work? This is where you can set up automatically grouping of photos with faces and face recognition but a major feature that I would highly recommend that you turn on is the automatic removing of geolocation whenever you're sharing a photo. Now I personally leave the geolocation on my photos 
But, however, when I share photos with other people, I have it automatically removed. Now, this is where you can turn that on. And this way, you can protect yourself from accidentally sharing information you might not want to have public. And then the final section is managing what you share on YouTube. Again, this is a default setting. You can manually override this. But this is where you can set your liked videos, playlists, watched videos, etc. as either public or private. Now, I would highly recommend that you leave this private but if you choose to set it to public then you can do so right now and that's the privacy checkup now before we end this video there is some security settings that I really would like to walk you through now in order to do that we have to go back to the account homepage so go ahead and click back until you are on the account homepage now on the left hand side you'll see that there is a menu. This is where we're going to go and find the security settings. Now scrolling down you'll immediately get an overview of all security settings. You can change all the third party apps and extensions that have access to your Google account. You can review them one by one and see what access they have. If you see anything that you no longer use or any of the applications or websites that have access that should not have access, this is where you can remove access. So go ahead and review those now and then once you've finished that you can return to the security settings I would also highly recommend that you turn on your recovery email and also recovery phone number and turn on two-step verification now in this menu you can turn all these features on and then another area that's incredibly useful within the security settings is your devices now these are all devices that have been logged into this particular account you can review these devices and if you've lost a device or no longer use a device this is where you can now revoke access you can even see when it was that you last accessed your account using this device now if you change phone or laptops regularly I would highly recommend that you keep an eye out for this section in your account settings and make sure that the devices that have access to your Google account are your own devices now I hope you found this video on privacy and security settings helpful this was another tips and tricks with apps events and Acer and I will see you in the next one thank you for watching